Hey, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we're taking a look at this knife here. This is the Civivi Dogma. This knife has been out for a little while, but uh, I like it a lot, so it's going to get a review. So let's start off with taking some measurements. So we have a blade length just a tad over three and a half inches, handle length of about four inches. If you're looking at overall length, about 7.5 inches. So not a huge knife. Uh, let's jump right into our size comparisons. Here it is against our rats. There is the one. And here's the two. I guess we'll line up the pivots. Let's go ahead and bring out the Benchmade bug out. Get out of here, rat two or rat one, whichever you are. <laughs> and the Spyderco PM2. So it's fairly close to bug out size. Obviously, it's a little bit smaller than the PM2. Uh, this is usually where we bring out the Civivis for comparison, but we're going to skip on them for just a second. We're going to go right to our Gerbers. There's the paraframe, the mini paraframe. So, a little bit bigger than the regular paraframe. And um, well, let's compare against two other budget knives that I really enjoy. There's a Civivi or the CJRB Feldspar. Oops. And the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. Pretty good. And now let's do our Civivi comparisons. Let's start off with the usual suspects. The Elementum. The Praxis. So, kind of falls in between those two. And last up, let's compare against my two favorite Civivis so far. There's some new 2021 models that I want to get my hands on and might like more. But there's the Statera and the Corsair. Both of these are unfortunately discontinued, but I like them a whole lot. So, again, it's a little bit smaller than both of those. So, so Vivi Dogma, what are we looking at here? On this particular version, we've got a black-coated D2 blade, and we have these copper handles with a G10 backspacer, steel clip, steel liner lock, clip point blade. I love clip points. One of my favorite blade shapes. Um, you have multiple deployments, flipper tab, blade hole, ground very, very thin, like Civivi normally does it. I measured this guy at like 15 thousandths. So pretty good. Although it honestly feels a little bit thinner than 15 thousandths, honestly. But, great, great looking knife. You can get these in a bunch of different varieties. Um, they also have a brass version uh, of this, you know, black blade brass. And there are uh, the standard versions have G10 um, with the same pattern, but not the different colors. Um, you've got, you can get in like a, a black, a gray, a blue, a green and orange or red or something, a bunch of different colors, satin finished blade. Those come in about $42. This particular version here, I believe is around 60. And you can also get this same type of version with a Damascus blade for a little bit more. And they have another dogma out that instead of the blade hole, it has a fuller. You can get those with Damascus and a really neat carbon fiber. And I'll probably get my hands on one of those and uh, I'll probably re-review the knife because I think that's a different set's substantial enough to warrant a new review. But that's enough rambling for now. Let's go cut some cardboard and let's talk about how this guy performs. All right, let's destroy some cardboard with the Civivi Dogma. So as I already mentioned, we have a very nice clip point blade here, pretty aggressive. I think about clip points a lot of times they have very dainty tips, which this guy is no exception. 
pretty thin tip, and especially with a Zavivi grind, yeah, pretty darn thin. Um, but that should mean it slices very well. So let's go ahead and do some slicing of some stuff that I have left over. I think that's pretty much all I have to do. It's a Civivi. It slices amazingly. Um, the Ergos are pretty comfortable. They're pretty neutral. As you can see here, it's just a nice little curve. If you have larger hands, this little flat area here might be a place that you can wrap your, fin your finky, wrap your finky, oh my gosh, wrap your pinky finger around. Um, pretty comfortable. A little bit of a hot spot off the clip, but you have this very generous forward finger choil here. You can get up in there and that gives you a lot of control over your cuts. So that's always nice. Um, how does it carry? So it has a VV standard clip. It is reversible, um, flat screws, the clip itself, though, is not set in the scales. If you like this Avivi clip, you like how this carries. I like this Avivi clip just fine. It goes in and out of the pocket with no problem. It carries deep. The knife tucks away pretty well. You can get down in your pocket and grab all your other stuff in your pocket if you have anything else in there. So, yeah, very nice. How's the action? So you have a flipper tab, works very well, it's a push button. Uh, you have this hole here, you can thumb flick it. You can do the good old reverse flick. You can slow roll the knife open. Um, I'm, gonna, I, 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 I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I've said before in the past, I don't think Civivi has the absolute highest of quality actions out of any budget knife. Um, for example, this knife here, if you try, if you light switch it, it's very easy for, for you to fail it. Um, it's also very easy for you to success, well, for you to successfully deploy it. But you know, if you're not paying attention, flipper tab is very small. So, you know, if you're not paying attention, it's easy for you to pull it out and fail a deployment. But still, the action is very, very good. You see it drops shut pretty good. And having the detent be a little bit lighter, this knife would flip better if the detent was harder, but having kind of a lighter detent allows you to do the spidey flick, it allows you to do the thumb flick, and allows you to do the slow roll. So I don't really have a complaint there. It is running on bearings, and the action is good to go. So there's our uh, Zavivi Dogma. Let's go ahead and go back to the table and talk about what I like and what I don't like about this pretty cool little knife. So let's take a closer look at the Civivi Dogma. Uh, let's start off with what I like. First thing, the blade. It's a great blade. I love clip points, so I'm a little bit biased there, but still very, very thin behind the edge. You have this nice little sweep here, so you can go through some slices pretty well. Very dainty tip, but in my opinion, this isn't really a knife that you're going to want to expose to harder use environments, so I don't really mind that tip at all. Next thing I like is the variety of this on this of this particular knife. Like I said, D2 blade steel coated or uncoated. You can get Damascus blades. The handle materials: G10, carbon fiber, copper, brass. I mean, you, you really, you can find what you want with this knife. Obviously, I have the copper version. Um, pretty heavy. Um, I didn't try to provide a weight or anything for this knife uh, for today's review because the weight's going to vary depending on which one you get. This guy's a, a brick, but I don't really mind it. Um, I probably should have discussed that during the, in the carry, but again, the weight's going to vary between you know, which model you have and, and all that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next thing. Um, 
yeah, I like the action. Um, I complained about it a little bit, but it's not really a complaint. It's just something I've noticed. Um, no, this action is good. It's reliable. When you go to deploy this knife, you can deploy it. And it's pretty fun to fidget with. You have all kinds of different ways to deploy it. Let's see if I can do the thumb flick under camera. Yeah, I did. Um, all kinds of different ways to deploy it. Shake shut pretty well. Um, yes, you can fail it pretty easily, but you know, if you're paying attention, the action is just fine. Got no problems with it. Um, next, I do like this like jigged bone look they went for here. And and what they did for on the copper and brass versions is they took their copper, they put the pattern into it, and then they black washed it. They or they they coated it and then they sanded the coating off. You can kind of tell up here. Um, I think that looks great. I really, really, really like that. The coating stayed down in the recesses, but the high areas were polished off. That's really cool. It gives it kind of a vintage look. Um, do I have any jig bone slip joints laying around? Not with an easy reach, but I think it's cool. And especially with this bolster, I love bolsters on knives. And this isn't a real bolster. It's a fake bolster, or it's just like a bolster effect. But I like it. It's... It's cool. It's, it's different. It gives this knife a very unique vibe, and you can't argue with that. So, yeah, 100%. I'm a fan. Um, next up that I like is the clip is reversible, and the clip in general. So VV has good clips. Plenty of tension, as you can see here. The material of your pants goes right under there. Slips over pretty nicely. I really don't have any problem with the um, clip not being sunk into the scale as far as getting it in and out of the pocket goes. The reason I sometimes I, I, I complain about that is because it can lead to some clip wiggle on this guy. There's just a hair of clip wiggle, but not enough to make me mad. Um, so yeah, and it's reversible for lefties. That's pretty great. I like seeing that. Um, next up, it came from the it came really really well. Uh, fit and finish wise. That sentence did not make any sense. Um, it came from the factory in good condition. You know, perfectly centered, no blade play, no lock rock. The lock up is solid. So, yeah, no complaints there whatsoever. Um, next, the hardware is all nice. So, Vivi's known for this. You have T8s. All over the place. In fact, I even think the clip screws in this case are T8s. Let's check that real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, there's my T8 bit. So that's T8. And that's T8, but no, the clip screws are T6. I kind of thought they might be T8 since they that screw was a pocket clip screw as well. But nope, the, the clip screws are T6, but that's not really a problem. Most of the time with a clip on a pocket knife, you only have to take the clip off once, put it on the side that you want, and you're good. Um, What else do I like about this guy? Oh, more about the hardware. I like Savivi's pivot. I like their C. That's cool. You know, Savivi's known for, you know, everything. All they put on the blade is D2. And it's so tiny. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So, oh, last thing I like. Getting ahead of myself. The Ergos. Yeah, I, I don't really have a problem here. It's comfortable. You know, you have this choil that's really nice you can choke up into. Really got no complaints there whatsoever. Um, oh, and access to the liner is not like it, it, it's kind of medium. Like it, it's good. It's not something I'd consider bad, but it's average enough that I wouldn't really rave about it. So that is nice. What do I not like? Um. I am actually not a big fan of this lanyard hole in the in the G10 for some reason. 
I don't know, I kind of wish they'd done their, their hidden lanyards, like, on... Do I have a Civivi laying around here that has a hidden lanyard? <laughs> oh, come on, I've got to. Somewhere. There's this one. Nope. Okay, well, I'm not going to dig through my Civivis right now, but I think they could have done their lanyard hole better. And that's it. As far as complaints go, <laughs> that's it. So uh, let's go on to the final conclusions. So what are my final thoughts on this Avivi Dogma? I love it. <laughs> I love it. This is actually one of my very favorite Civivis of all time. Um, it's just fantastic. And for you, if, if you're thinking, well, you know, should I buy it? Or should I wait? Um, it all comes down to the person, to your your personal preferences. Do you like clip points? If yes, well, yeah. Do you like the um, old timey jig bone look? If no, you could get the Ortis, which is something I want to talk about. So the Civivi Ortis is a knife that came out after this guy, but looks very very similar. It has kind of a the same clip point blade. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit, a little bit fatter, if I remember right. I haven't held one in a while, but um, it's cheaper too. It has FRN scales, 9CR18 MOV blade steel, and it's about 40 bucks, which isn't all that much cheaper than the standard version of these guys, but it is still cheaper. Um, do I think that the Ortis is... Um, Give the dogma a run for its money? Maybe. Um, I need to get an Ortis. Um, I actually gave one as a uh, as a Christmas present to my to my cousin. I got to handle it a little bit then, and I was pretty impressed. I was very impressed. So maybe I'll do an edge to edge between an Ortis and a dogma because it is something that I'm quite interested in. But that being said. The Dogma has a lot more variants out there. A lot more. And I really do think that there's a Dogma for everyone. Whether you're kind of fancy or, you know, minimalist or kind of in between, which I would consider this guy to be. There's a Dogma out there for you. And yeah, in short, I can 100% recommend this knife to anyone. It's a great little EDC knife. I've had this guy for a long time. I've carried him quite a bit. And he is just at home in suit pants, as he is in my jeans, going through my everyday life. Um, which is something I, I, I should probably mention. I think this is a, especially some versions of this guy, make good gentlemen's carry knives. Maybe not this one, because it's a little heavy. But some of the other ones that look fancy, with like the carbon fiber G10 handles and the Damascus blades, those, those are pretty good gentlemen carry knives. But this is just a great EDC knife in general for, for everyone. And uh, I can seriously, seriously recommend it. And that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.